Hey guys, RC here, and uh, today we got a Cobra 200 GTL DX. It used to be, you know, one of my favorite radios at the time. When I first started getting in the radio, I've always thought that they were just neat looking radios. And I've actually had a couple of them, but uh, just I kind of switched over to a different style radio. <laughs> just because, you know, and this goes with any radio, you know, especially in this time and stuff, you know, parts at this moment are kind of hard to get so uh you know with that being said i don't mean to scare nobody but i kind of wanted to go off to a, a whole different radio but there's nothing wrong with these I, I still love these to death uh anyways uh mastermind this is your radio he actually purchased this radio from rooster cb radio connections it's a used radio um and he actually he contacted me and asked if i would check it out and fix the meter lot in it that's what we did. So, uh, just to kind of show, we'll put a white LED right here. And from there, your dimmer still works. So, I don't know if the camera can really do it justice. I don't think so. But this actually does dim pretty, pretty low. So, <clears throat> anyways, we'll get right to it. Uh, show the echo works real quick. Audio, radio, audio. So, <clears throat> echo works and stuff. Um, with these radios, this radio hasn't been on, you know, fairly long. But, you know, when you first, you know, when you first turn on these radios, before we show the dead key, or at least in my experience, your dead key is always lower when it's cold, as it warms up it will come up to where it was actually set at. So just keep that in mind when you're watching this video. Uh, <clears throat> but anyways, we'll start out. It's in low power and uh, we'll just go right to it. So this is a, a 50 watt slug. Uh, we're reading the average power, middle scale. So we'll key it up. I don't know if you can actually see it on the camera, but you can see the dead key slowly going up. That's good. So it kind of demonstrated what I was talking about. So right there is a five watt dead key. <clears throat> we'll show you average power swing. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, about 13 watts average. Oh, we're actually going to turn it on high power. And he wanted at a 25 watt dead key. And that's what we did. As it slowly creeps up. There we go. And we'll just unkey it right here. Key it right back up just to show, you know. Anyways, we'll show you the average power swing. Oh, you know, 30 watts average. He didn't want nothing crazy. And uh, simple, we just kind of did a light tune on it just to kind of make sure that, it, you know, everything was working the way it should. <clears throat> we're actually going to pull this 50 watt slug out. And we're going to put in a 250 watt slug. Put it on peak. We're actually going to put the radio back in low power. And I will show you the uh, peak power swing. We're reading the top scale where the 50 or the 5 is 50, 10 is 100, etc. Anyways. Audio, radio, audio, radio, audio, radio. Audio, radio, audio, radio, audio, radio, audio, radio, audio, radio, audio, radio. <clears throat> About 80 watts peak. We'll actually flip it on high. Audio, radio, audio, radio, audio, radio, audio, radio, audio, radio, audio, radio, audio. You know, about 115 there. So she's uh she's doing what she should be doing, in my opinion. Oh, actually, we're gonna flip it over here to lower sideband, where it's actually in the high power. So we're gonna go to peak. Audio, radio, audio, radio, audio, radio. So I remember what's peak there. We're going to flip it on low power. The sideband will probably drop dramatically. Audio, radio, audio, radio, audio, radio, audio, radio. You know, so about 10, 12 watts peak. That's just because, you know, essentially your high and low is just like a variable power. You know, the more you turn it down, the less peak power you're going to do essentially so 
Anyways, we will uh, we'll flip back up here to AM. High power. Are you? Oh, hold on one second. We actually turned the peak kit off. Let's turn it back on. Yeah, there we go. Audio, radio, audio. You know, 110, 115 peak. <clears throat> and that's honestly where I should run it. Or, I mean, where, you know, I would recommend running it. Just because, you know, lots of people try to crank as much power out of these as you can. And that's kind of where they detonate, in my opinion. So, uh, you know... <clears throat> It was doing a little bit more, but we, uh, you know, I actually cranked it down a little bit just because I'm not trying to squeeze every watt that I can out of this radio, just because I, I know how these radios operate. <laughs> I've, I've killed a few myself, but, uh, but yeah, so we're, you know, we keep it around the hundred, hundred and, you know, 15, 20 watt mark. That's great. So, uh, but anyways. This is the uh, this is the radio. Hope you enjoy the radio, man. And uh, I think it's just ready to go and talk. Anyways, guys, we'll catch you on the flip. We'll see you. Bye, bye, bye.